So hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a bunch of planting with shrubberies and I'm also going to be doing some transplanting. Specifically, I'm going to be doing some work with my liripe or a lot of people refer to it as monkey grass. Wonder what I got going on? Check out this video guys. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping in. Uh, I am working today on doing some planting and one thing I'm doing is going to be doing some transplanting. I've got two big liripes, or a lot of people call them monkey grasses, uh, that I'm going to be moving to a different location. And the area that I'm going to put them, I actually need more than just the two. And I'm going to show you guys how you can dig these. You can cut them and split them. It will not hurt them. Uh, in fact, it's actually good for them when they start getting this big. And you can transplant them in different areas and these dudes do fantastic. So. You know me guys, let's get busy. Okay guys, I'm down on the other end of my mulch bed uh, in the front of my house. And this is an area that has run into a problem with me and it's mainly because of the deers that are here. We have a lot of huge deer herds that just roam. They're wild deers obviously. And in the winter time when they get hungry, they get real brave and they will come up here. And so where I have, used to have four, or actually five of these um, I can't remember the variety of this. Uh, it's almost like a little rose bush, but it's different. Anyway, the one on the end, they ate off all the way, and then you can look and see they eat off my um, uh, the ripe down to nothing. Here's another one uh, that's almost nothing, and it's just where they've come in here and just been so aggressive. And you can see, you know, this is deer track, deer track, deer track. You can see where they come all up in here. So anyway, uh, I can take care of that here, but I want to get some new stuff planted. So one of the things I'm doing, as you can see, is I've obviously got my two sources. Instead of buying new, these have gotten so big, I'm going to split them. And I'm going to plant one more tree here and get all this fixed back really pretty. And then I will put up, uh, there's a product you can buy, it's called Liquid Fence. And anyway, it's a deer resistant and it keeps the deers out. So the goal for me is to at least get two out of these and maybe in some cases I can get three. So the way you do this is after you dig it up, you turn it over on the side and then you just kind of try to find the midpoint and you split it in the middle. have it and of course if we wanted to we could split it we could even split it again but I think I'm gonna shoot four right now so now we'll do the same thing again with this one quick we got four all right so what I like to do when I'm replanting is obviously we've got half of it cut away and this will feather out it'll be fine but just for the heck of it I always turn this away from what you can see so obviously this where you guys are now is out in the grass it's the front of my mulch bed so I'm going to turn this part to the back and you'll see here in a minute it doesn't make any difference but so anyway, when you set it, you want to make sure you don't go too deep because you also, we're going to come back here and do mulch. And then you come back here and you just fill it in with your dirt. And you want to make sure that you get the dirt all down around the cracks because you want to get good compaction as far as contact. So the roots will be stimulated to start growing again. So the plant will, will survive and do okay. And then the last step that I always like to do is walk around and compress it and push it down and that just makes sure you got good contact with the soil all right and then the last thing you do obviously you know this side was half cut away this is the beauty of liripe you just fluff it when i add the mulch you will never know that we cut this in half and here i will show you the back side and you can see see how nice that looks so we just saved ourselves money not having to go buy more 
and we actually did the plant a favor because when it gets so big it'll kind of engorge itself so splitting them is a great practice it's a great money saver and you can see it's not hard to do well okay guys i got everything all planted and i got this area cleaned up this is all ready to be mulched now i am in the process and be on the lookout for videos coming uh, because i've got a whole redo on my front landscape and i'll share that with you guys a little bit later on but i just wanted to bring you this small piece so guys if you were to look you would see if you didn't know what you've already seen on video where we cut all these in half you would never have a clue that that has already happened and these you would think these are brand new plants so it's really cool how you can take lorapi and split it and keep getting it and and grow without having to spend money these are really cool plants great to work with uh, as a lady told me a long time ago these are great fillers uh, and very economical so guys, I hate to ask, but please be sure to hit the like and subscribe with the way the new algorithms are working with YouTube. That is the only way to keep these videos going and growing. Um, so guys, I would appreciate so much if you do that for me. Also, please check out, I'll throw it in at the end screen. Uh, I did a huge uh, landscape project up at the daycare center right before they opened. And I redid the landscape in the back entrance on the main entrance. It's pretty dramatic. So I'll throw that in here and please check it out. So guys, be sure to stay safe. Have a great week. Ooh, I can't even talk today. So guys, stay safe. Have a great week upcoming. And you know me, guys. There's always one more. So we'll catch you later.